Hello. Man, it's my welcome back to the shop. We've got a fucking light in here. Does that help? No, that doesn't fucking help, does it? Let's try that one. Does that help? Yeah, that helps a bit. How long it was if you were dreaming, you know. How long the night. Man, it's my welcome back to the shop. And today we're looking at. Ah, yes, compound. So. There's a difference between um, compound engines, com uh, compound engines, com compound turbos, compounding turbos. Uh, there's a difference between the two. Now we've done uh, compound turbo engines, or the basics of, um, and I will get on to compounding turbos. But what I wanted to talk about is the difference. It was a question uh, that someone asked. Well, what is the difference between um, a compound engine? A compound turbo um, versus just a regular turbo engine you know it seems so basically this guy just asked me what is the difference aren't they basically the same thing so um, in the last video I was talking about turbos um, driving crankshafts which is a, a compound turbo setup and um, regardless of how you do that so Volvo and stuff are working on having a crankshaft okay now what am I doing having a crankshaft like so, then having a turbo with a gearbox um, on it kind of thing, and then all them gears then drive the, tur the crankshaft. It doesn't matter if it's directly attached or if there's a gearbox um, attached to it. The reason why you'd want to have a gearbox is because you can have a smaller turbo, uh, which is good for weight considerations and cost, and then you can actually basically gear it. So you're taking the I don't know, the 100,000 RPM of this, um, which means that it's got high RPM but low torque and you're gearing it up to the gearbox so we can have recover usable energy and basically turn that into torque and help that drive the crankshaft. So the question was is, if this is the case, what is the difference between a turbo uh, and a compound turbo engine? You know, um, not the physical difference, what is the... Um, what would you say? What is the what is the point of one and the other? So basically, the difference between the two is a turbo engine. Uh, when you fit a turbo to an engine, is you're after uh, more power. Basically, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to increase the volumetric efficiency, which means if you stick more fuel, uh, more air into a cylinder, then you can stick more fuel in. So basically, turbos use more fuel to get more power. That's how they get. That's that's how they achieve higher power values, and <laughs> not get more power is that you are basically adding more fuel if you need more fuel you need more oxygen you need to basically more air and that's what a turbo does basically it does it that way um compound turbo engines are kind of the reverse of that and this is why volvo and other truck and lorry companies and stuff for agriculture and stuff are looking into it yet again is because um you are not increasing the volumetric efficiency you're not trying to boost the engine you are basically just recovering some of that waste energy um, from the waste heat that you piss out of your exhaust, you're trying to recover that and put it back into the engine. This basically raises the engine's efficiency, as in um, fuel efficiency, basically. Um, so you're a mechanic, no, not really mechanical energy, but um, what you're doing is you're taking um, your fuel and you're just trying to extract as, as much of that energy as you can. So it's a more efficient in the terms of um, energy efficiency, let's put it that way. So a compound engine, a compound turbo engine can be um, made smaller you can have a smaller engine that has the same power output if it's a smaller engine it has a smaller cc which so basically means you use less fuel for the same amount of power and so on it's more of an efficiency thing so that's the difference between a compound turbo engine um, compounding turbos which is putting one turbo after the other will deal with that in a separate video because that's just completely different um, and you do it for different reasons and what have you anyway hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit <laughs> 